Hey everybody, um, I wanted to do another one of these, um, kind of writing tip video things, um, and this one's kind of corny, um, but I think it has a lot of merit, if that makes sense. The question here is, are you a good storyteller? Um, now, this might not be like foolproof science here, but um, I think it holds water. So, I want you to think about your dealings in everyday life. And when you talk to family or a loved one or a friend or um, a significant other or something like that, and you tell them about what happened to you that day, when you're telling them, like, what happened, are they like this? Like, waiting for you to stop talking? Or are they, like, riveted? Like, hanging on your every word? You know? Like, I really think this is important when it comes to storytelling. Especially if you are worried about parts of your book or parts of what you're writing. If you feel like they fall flat or... If you feel like they f they feel a little boring, because the old adage is, is if your book's putting you to sleep, it's going to put everybody to sleep. If you're bored by something you write, um, chances are everyone's going to be bored reading it. So, like, if you were telling somebody a story, how do they react? And I know this is different than writing a story, but every thing in telling a story is the same. Inflections, um, punctuation, all these things. Um, the picture you paint, the whole deal. So if I were like... Okay, here we go. I'll tell you a story. So I was watching him, and he was just dragging his sack. It hung super low down, and he was just dragging his sack across the gravel. And I was like, what? And as he was dragging it over the gravel, you could see the two big balls in it and I'm 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 thinking like dude you, you shouldn't be doing that it's gonna get all messed up and he's just going like nobody's business you know doing his thing and I noticed that the gravel up ahead is like sharper stones bigger stones and he's just dragging his sack and I'm thinking the worst. And sure enough, he gets to the bigger gravel, and one of these sharp rocks just slices open the bottom of this dude's sack. And it starts to open, and I could see in his sack, and I could see these two big balls start, like, forcing their way out. And next thing you know, I'm looking at this guy's two basketballs just like rolling through the gravel and he's just dragging an empty burlap sack. And I'm like, dude, you dropped your balls, you know? So that's one way of telling that story. Another way is like, oh, I saw this PE teacher rip his bag of basketballs when he was going to... 
um, take the balls to the basketball courts. You know, like, which story is more exciting? Which one's more interesting? Which one paints a different picture? You know, which one um, builds suspense? You know, like, if you can take everything that you see through the day and word it in a way that is building suspense or um because suspense isn't just for suspense novels suspense is something that it's anticipation and that should be in any genre you're writing you know and also if we're going to talk genre here you need to know your audience so the way I told that story is how I would tell it to a bunch of, I don't know, a bunch of dudes. Because, like, they would see the analogy that I'm painting there for them. Um, would you tell that story to your church group? Probably not. You would come up with a different way, you know, um, however you do it. But you have to figure out who your audience is and write to that audience and doing different types of genres um is a good way of putting that together because like i know and these are what the tropes are for the genres i know there's certain things in romance novels that if you don't do you're going to get crucified and um, if you do do then everyone will think you're amazing, you know? So, but again, it's just the way you tell the story. So practice talking to people and just telling them things. Like if, if you go to Walmart and you see like a puddle of water on the floor and you see a little old lady walking towards it, you could start doing the math in your head about what's going to happen. You could build that suspense. You could build that tension. Is the old lady going to walk into that water, slip, and break her hip, and sue Walmart? You know, like, that's, that's pretty interesting. You know, like, it could be anything. Like, the dude at Domino's, like, getting tired of making pizza, and he just, like, decides he's going to... I don't know, sneeze in your pizza and think that that's a topping, you know, like that's actually kind of, um, speculative, but you know what I'm saying? Just tell people some stories and if they're bored as shit, then chances are you need to work on how you tell a story. And, um, it's just like an exercise. Just try to make things more interesting, I guess. So that's kind of corny, but like, um, I think it's important. Like you need to always make stuff exciting, you know? Um, so yeah, so that's it. And I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.